Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. I would say good morning, in fact, good afternoon for one minute. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be able to introduce to you today uh, Affluent Medical. Uh, Affluent Medical is a medical device company which is now uh, in a clinical stage and we will uh, show you which products we are developing in two major fields, cardiology and urology. I pass on a disclaimer. Uh, and our goal is very simple. I think our main goal is to make sure that we improve life. You will see that all our devices, we have four of them, plus one, three of them plus one technology. Our objective is really to add something to either existing products with an improved one or developing new products which don't exist and for which there is clearly some unmet medical needs. And this is right for all uh, the fields in which we are developing our products. And clearly, uh, which I think a change compared to the last two years, we are now in a full clinical stage uh, as a company. And some few ideas of what is our philosophy? Why do we develop these devices? How do we do it? The first one, which is on the, on the top left of the, of the slides, is the fact we try to mimic what is a physiological uh, system and the physiological body uh, of human of human bodies. Uh, I've been for some years the first CEO of Karmat that you may have heard, the fully in implantable art, and it's the same philosophy for us in the structural art. We try to mimic the uh, physiological body and uh, with our devices. We try also, as you can see on the uh, top right, as you can see on the top right part, uh, on the top right part here, uh, that we try also to do what we call personalized medicine. So having devices that could be adjusted for each of the patients we are treating. It's especially the case in structural art with our adjustable at any time ring. And we want also to be, as we call it, minimally invasive products. We try to make sure that we decrease the impact of the surgery and of the process of implanting our devices. Where are we in which, uh, very important to understand in which field we are. We also have chosen to be in fields where there is either a very large market and or a very large unmet medical needs. First, as you can see based on the size of the boxes you have on this slide, we have uh, a major franchise is in structural art in uh, mitral valve regurgitation uh, diseases. And um, we are developing two products as we will see in the next slides, but this is our main core franchise. Uh, this is one of the hottest current M&A part in structural art and in cardiology. Uh, there is no products yet on the market or one just license. There is still some products in development and we are talking mitral valve repairs and mitral valve replacements. Uh, this is our main market. The total estimated market for these products is three and a half billion of dollars. So very large market, an unmet needs because no products have been yet sold except some basic rings in order to repair mitral valve in case of regurgitation. So this is our main franchise. The second franchise in which uh, we are working, which is also a very large, un this time unmedical needs, is urology. And we are developing uh, a fully implantable artificial sphincter for severe incontinence. This is a major issue. It's not a lethal, it's not a vital uh, issue for patients, but it's a social quality of life issue for the major part of the patients who are suffering from incontinence. It's 85% women, 15% of the market are men, basically coming from prostate cancer surgery, after which there is a large uh, issue of incontinence. For women, it's a larger number of women. And currently on the market, there is only one product from one of our competitors, Boston Scientific, who is a product which is only licensed for men. So only tackling 15% of the market. Our objective is clear, is to develop a more friendly, uh, user-friendly product, which not be, uh, would be uh, remotely activated in order to help the patients coming to a regular, normal life without the pain and not suffering the uh, social life issue that these patients are covering. The fourth area in which we are is vascular. This is, as indicated here, being partnered right now 
we have decided not to develop our own undergraft, but we are in a process of divesting, licensing this technology, the fiber technology, to the free to one of the three major players, Boston, uh, sorry, uh, Medtronic, Gore, and Cook. We have discussion with all of them, and in order for them to license in the technology and improve the render graph which are currently on the market. If we move to the products, and uh, if we move to the products here, I think, and uh, our chief medical officer, Professor Laborde, will go in more details uh, explaining how our mitral valve epigon, the one you see on the top left part of this slide, will explain a little bit more how it works. But let me show you a little bit on the Calios one, which is a repair. As I said earlier, our objective is to bring to the market something new compared to the existing products. There is currently many rings or many repair rings on the market. Uh, the most well-known one is the Edwards Carpentier uh, ring. They are simple ring. When you implant them, it's over. You do surgery, you implant the ring, and you hope that it will work for a long time. The issue is that this disease is evolving and you need to adjust it at some point. So what we have developed is very simple. As you can see here, you have the uh, ring and you have a, a line which stay uh, implanted in humans and at any time after, during surgery or after surgery, we are able to adjust and to keep the uh, results, the good results of the surgery uh, operational for each patient. So this is uh, unique, it doesn't exist on the market and you will see later on where we are on this product. On the right, you have uh, the design of the product for Artus, which is the name of our product for severe incontinence. As you can see, it's implantable. It's also a ring. So there is some technology, uh, I would say, uh, synergies between the two products. I will now call Professor Laborde, who is our chief medical officer, that will uh, present in more detail what is the characteristic of our Epicon valve. Well, ju just a few words to present you this device and the additional value of this device. This is a D-shaped device, so it allows to enlarge the opening area according to this uh, aspect, which is mimicking the uh, mitral annulus. And as you can see, this device is asymmetric. The asymmetry of the stent makes that the flux to fill the left ventricle is orientated toward the apex as it is in the physiology when you insert a classic valve the f the the filling the the flux arrive on the uh, wall of the left ventricle but not toward the apex so you lose the uh, vortex of this here you can see i hope the movie will work you can see on the right the uh, device after one uh, w after five months in the animal and you see the uh, the um, hook to ensure, ensure the stability of the processes and and on the left you have the same thing with the human heart and on the animal which would yeah here you see uh, the uh, deployment of the valve in, in the ship model uh, which is done through the uh, LV apex and uh, with a simple uh, way to anchor and the good stability of the device as we have seen on the different animal models we did. And on the uh, two echo, you have one echo from the apex on the left and from the atrial on the right and you will see the enlargement of the uh, orifice. Here you have the uh, image of the vortex. On the on the right, you on the left, <laughs> depends. <laughs> uh, you see the classic physiological of the uh, vortex, and on the right, you see the uh, model with the device, and you see the large opening, and you see when, but we don't have both together, that the motion of this flux is exactly mimicking the physiological one so it's allowed to imagine to do to the left ventricle the possibility
to be more and more efficient after the repair. So let me uh, finish the presentation. This was very important, that uh, presentation from Professor Labord because it explains what is the difference for our valve compared to the one on a, that will be on the market. The valve which are currently or will under development that will be on the market are valve for which, uh, for which in fact uh, you don't mirror the physiology and you don't repair the issue of the left ventricular. Just a few uh, points on where we are in the development, which I think is, is very important for any uh, investors and for us. As you can see here, uh, regarding Epigon, our uh, mitral valve, we are currently submitting uh, for our first in-man implantation. We will be submitting to three countries, uh, Austria, we already got the approval from the ethical committee in Austria and we are expecting in the next few weeks the approval from the competent authority in Austria hoping to implant our first man with the valve uh, probably in Q2 or Q3 depending on this timing. Uh, we are also filing in the next few weeks in Italy and in Spain and we will do uh, a 10 men first in men uh, clinical study uh, during Q3 and Q4, Q2 to Q4 this year. This is very important because, as you know, one of the, uh, all the major deeds that has been done with partners have been done after 5 to 10 implantation of mitral valve. So the valuation of the company will be boosted. On the second product in structural art, our adjustable Calio ring, we are more advanced. We have just started our pivotal study. We are already in Austria. We have the approval, which is very important for us, with uh, Germany, with the beef farm. And we also have the approval in Switzerland and uh, in uh, Italy in order to do our pivotal study of 60 patients that will be uh, fully uh, included and implanted during Q2, Q3 this year. So this well advanced. On Artus, we are currently submitting for the pivotal study, pilot pivotal study, that will be started in uh, Q3 this year. And uh, we hope for both products, Calios and Artus, to be a C marked in 221 for the first one, Calios, and in 222, 223. As you, as you can see on this slide, this is our timeline. So expecting C mark for our first product, Calios, in 221, in 223 for the uh, valve, mitral valve, and in probably 222 uh, for the Artus program. And you can see in red the products for which we can encompass some m and uh, uh, changes. Of course, we are covered by many patents. We have a total of 27 patent families. As you can see, they are expiring in 237, 238. So we have a long period of protection from, 30, uh, from 27 patents, and we are still uh, patenting new uh, technologies on these products regularly, at least two or three patents new every year. We also have the support from a major key sh stockholders. You can recognize Professor Carpentier, who is the inventor of the uh, uh, first, the aortic valve with Edwards, second, the Carmat uh, and the uh, ring with uh, also uh, Edwards Carpentier ring. And some other very well known uh, 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 physicians and uh, professors in both vascular urology and cardiology. So where are we? Uh, we are here today just because we are currently doing a fundraising, a refinancing of the company. We have raised already in December 8 million euros uh, with our current major shareholder Truffle Capital uh, and also with our partner. I didn't mention we have two JVs in China for two of our products the uh, mitral valve and the Artus uh, incontinence product and our Chinese partners also uh, uh, decided to fund the company 4 million euro and uh, this is a total of 8 million euro. We are currently going through uh, fundraising with a second closing that will happen in Q1, March or April for a total of total of the funding for 15 to 20. So second closing will be between 7 and uh, 12 million euro and we are currently discussing with major investors uh, around that. So in a nutshell, it's a right time uh, for, the, uh, for investors to uh, be involved in the company because we are currently, as you have seen, going through C mark very soon in the next two years. Second, we are progressing in clinical trials in all our products and it's a good market opportunity because the valuation of the company could be far better as soon as we will have the first major results, specifically in the mitral valve. 
Thank you very much.